What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, and what's going on? It's Jay from 99 Podcast. Let's talk about ableism. I would not go so far as to say it's my least favorite I- ism or ist. But it is possibly the one that I have the hardest time understanding. I hope I can uh, explain. Thanks for joining me on this journey. The most important fact is to remember every single person can become disabled. So from that standpoint, I do mildly understand the fear of disability. And I kind of understand the idea where somebody wants to avoid accepting disability and things like that in our day-to-day society. But where I have this cognitive disconnect is the uh, people intentionally harming disabled, either physically, or mentally, or however, with without any sort of attempt to make it better for everyone, whether they need it or not. To point out an obvious thing, being disabled is not an end, nor is it a punishment. To assume these things are true, you have to degrade disabled people to less than human status. You would have to think that the person you're dealing with, whatever disability you're being harsh towards, is not actually a person, but solely the label that you place on them. Whether they be a wheelchair user, blind, deaf, insert various disabilities here. Let's get a definition out of the way. What is ableism? Ableism is, strictly speaking, treating somebody with a disability different than you treat somebody who is able-bodied. Yes, that definition is very vague, but if you think about it, that's what every single-ism is. What is racism? Treating somebody who doesn't look like you differently solely because they don't look like you or what you think everyone should look like. So you can see the conundrum that I face in saying and speaking about ableism because the definition is so broad to encompass everything that is that because it has to be. It just makes sense. So leave a comment down below about your specific run-in with ableism. I do plan on doing a video in the future talking about stuff and things. And any first-hand account would be prescient. Something that doesn't get spoken about enough. People who wear glasses are disabled by definition. You require an external thing to assist you in day-to-day living. Like, if I don't have these... It's the same as me not being in the wheelchair. I'm useless. I guess you could even say glasses are the wheelchair for your face. That's a very stupid comparison. Because ableism is such a nebulous concept. I need to make it clear. If you're not intentionally saying or doing something ableist. So if you're let's say let's go for a walk and the person comes back with can't i'm in a wheelchair and that's uphill that's not ableism that's i mean depending on the situation around it it could be a bit silly but as long as your discussion ends with i can't because x and you accept that Well, that just means you're not an asshole. However, if the person brings up their very legitimate reason why they can't do something, whether it be they're in a wheelchair, their anxiety would be too high, maybe they're blind or deaf and they're not able to take full advantage of whatever situation you're putting in front of them, and you push and you push and you push and you fight them 
saying that they should do it, or at least trying to do it, you're an asshole. Now, I made pretty obvious early on in the whole rant that I'm on right now that everyone can be disabled. And I stand by that. It will die on that hill. And it's 100% true. Let me tell you a story. A friend of mine's mother was driving home from the store one day, going along a highway, a country road kind of thing. So the speed limit is 80 kilometers an hour. And keeping up with traffic, not being a jerk. Blending perfectly in with everyone who was ahead of her. All of a sudden, way up the line, probably about a kilometer. I don't know, I don't remember the exact number, but a fair distance up the way. Uh, construction vehicle slammed on its brakes to do work on the road. And that, of course, made everybody slam on the brakes. So the entire, the entire row of cars went from 80 to zero in a flash of an eye. To avoid hitting the car in front of her and to avoid getting hit from behind, she veered off the road. Braking, slowing down, trying her best to keep control of the vehicle. Unfortunately, she went headlong into a tree. She was fine. She had survived. She was rushed to the hospital because she did have injuries. Including one of the injuries was on her right leg below the knee. She had a gash just from, you know, hitting a tree with her car going 80 kilometers an hour. So considering that's her only injury, that's kind of amazing. Unfortunately, the way the gash went, it became gangrenous very quickly. And she was informed and then they had to act quickly. She lost a leg from the knee down on the right side. So keep in mind, that is somebody who was totally able-bodied by definition. Who became disabled in a matter of hours. Did her life end? God, no. She became a very prevalent member of politics and actually became mayor of her district. Which is pretty awesome. But... It does kind of cement my point. Also keep in mind, all because you can't see the disability doesn't mean it doesn't exist. I, for example, wear the glasses. I'm in a wheelchair. You can see both of those. It's pretty obvious. What you don't see is that I have epilepsy. I manage it very well. I like to think anyway. Uh, doesn't mean it doesn't impede my life in some ways. Doesn't mean that it's not something I don't have to keep in mind when I go about certain functions. If I say I can't do something because it will set off my epilepsy, I probably can't do it because it will set off my epilepsy. Anyway. This has been Jason Garden on the Unknown Podcast. I love you. Side note, please share this video with anybody who has any sort of interesting ideas around how to treat people with disabilities. Get the word out. Discrimination against disability is rather systemic. It's incredibly ingrained in our society, not because people are trying to be assholes, but strictly because it's a terrifying premise. To know you could have to change everything. Everything in your life. Very quickly. And I have so many issues with the fact that the onus is on the person with the disability. But more on that in a future video.